Yeah, baby. Ooh. That's beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, my oh, my three. God. Holy moly. Three so pretty. Oh, look at the waterfall. Whoa. I've never seen a frozen waterfall in my life. That is a uh, buck. Of the 30 countries I've visited, Japan is arguably my favorite. Collectively, I've spent about a month in Japan visiting some of the most famous and talked about areas, including Kyoto, Osaka, Tokyo, and Fukuoka all during the hot summer. But for this trip, I decided to visit Japan during the winter, which turned out to be the most unique experience of them all. In this adventure, I brought along my family and friends as we toured through northern Japan via bus, beginning where we landed in Tokyo with a 4-5 to five hour drive up to our first official destination, Fukushima. Today we are here at the Angel Forest. It's uh, 6 a.m. bright and early and overnight we stayed in these um, kind of like igloo or dome cottages. We are at the Nasu Shirakawa Camp Park and it's a very quaint, quiet and it's a cute little village. I've never seen such uh, circular dome-shaped cottages ever in my life. This is a, uh, it's interesting. This is where we stayed. Hey. So for today's agenda, we'll be exploring all around Fukushima, and we're here to show you how beautiful this place really is. It's negative three degrees outside, so it's pretty cold, but the color scheme really works, you know? It's uh, quite nice seeing the black and white type of colors earlier when I was flying my drone and stuff. Hey, good morning. Oh, there you guys are. I didn't recognize Elodia. Hey. <laughs> I just walked by and totally ignored her. What's up, party people? How's it going, Mujo? What's up, Pudra? Kevin Pineapples. Meet you up. Dimar. Pat Garter Versoza. My K pop star. Hey, let's make snowmans. Let's make snowmans. <laughs> Dude. I don't know why I didn't bring anything. What else. are those? They're, they're stylish. Why are you wearing Converse? I literally, yeah, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think about it. I got all kinds of boots on. I didn't bring them. You're wearing like a, look at him, huh? I have hiking boots. I don't know why I didn't bring them. <laughs> Tip number one when traveling, always look at the weather forecast. Yeah, I never do that. Every vlog I've ever done when I try to go on vacation. You're always, always wearing the raining. wrong thing. I'm always wearing the wrong thing. <laughs> You love it, dude. I love snow. I haven't touched it in years. Those is the snow I touched was in our freezer. No, Elodia! <laughs> Elodia could move! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Get it, dude. Oh no, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so right now we're walking through Ochijuku, which is a traditional Japanese village, restaurants, shops, and a nice little path. Ochijuku was a post town established in the Edo period around 1640 where rural samurai would stop over after days on the road. What makes this one of the most unique places in the Fukushima area is its original village scenery of thatched roof housing and structures of Edo period Japan preserved down to this day. With few hints of modern technology in the current time period, it's almost as if you're about to see samurai marching down this ferry road. It's 
finally time for lunch. We got unlimited green tea, buckwheat tea. And, uh, what are we having, soba? Kampai. Put a morning to you, my hey, How are you doing, man? Good. All right. So currently we are at the Hotel Listel. Yeah, and this is a this is a ski resort. Is it, I know it is. If it you, is yeah, a ski resort. it is. You look out the window. Thing. There's chairlifts and stuff. So today we are going skiing in this. Just 20 minutes down the road. It's interesting. I, I never imagined going skiing. In you know Japan. what? You know what I've realized though. There's always snow here. It's always dumping. So anytime you need to go skiing, just go to Japan. Probably a heck of a lot cheaper here than to ski in the U.S., where it's over $200 a day. Arm and a leg. Let's get coffee. All right, time to go. Hey, good morning. Hey, here we go. What's up, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey. All right, we're switching to the GoPro. And believe it or not, they said it's snowing less than usual right now. Hey. Oh. Ah! Why are you always gonna do snowball fights? Oh wait, where are we going? We are headed straight to the top. There's no one out here. You can't find in the States, uh, whenever we go snowboarding or skiing, it's fully packed. Yeah, like when I was in Bulgaria in Pomporova, it was a little cabin with a million people and it's all wet and muddy. This is like we have our own private mountain to us, so this is gonna be fun. We're going straight to the top and uh, we're gonna shred down. We all haven't done this in many years since we live in the tropics, but it's been 15 years for me. Yay! This will be fun. This is awesome. This is the funnest thing we've ever done like so far in a long time. This is sick. Let's shred, brother. This is gonna be awesome, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This feels like marshmallows. Go. So fluffy. one of the most unique snowboarding experiences I've ever had because it was just completely fresh snow. No people whatsoever. Uh, we're in flower snow. It was amazing conditions. Dad, you've moved like a 40 year old. He was uh, just... Just getting my... Dude, I'm, I'm exhausted. After you ski and snowboard, food and water just tastes so much better. Am I right? This it's curry? It's like the best thing in the world. This pork curry? Amazing. Let's go, let's move it. We're on the run, Dad. Finish your beer, let's go. Chug, chug, chug. 
All right, we made it back on the bus, and now we have a more than three-hour road trip to Nico. Nico, yeah, we're going to Nico. That's a world site. From an historic standpoint, there is a shrine there to I believe is the Shogun Tokugawa in the Edo period, from the early 1800s up to the mid 1800s. No, it was 200 plus years of relative peace, no civil wars, that kind of thing, during the Shogunate of Tokugawa. Cool. Let's check it out. Nico. We're gonna walk around the temples. There's no more snow, but it is still really chilly. Heritage site. One of the many beautiful features of Japan are its distinctive temples, which are both historical structures and an intricate representation of architectural craftsmanship. But of the thousands spread across the country, the Nikko Toshugu Shrine is deemed Japan's most lavishly decorated of all of them, embellished with small complex carvings and garnished with glittering gold leaf. It was said to have cost $360 million in today's money to rebuild the entire shrine back in 1636. We're not gonna go to jail, are we? <laughs> not now. He didn't get caught. Today's giveaway, I don't know what this is, it just came in the mail. But look, it's in Japanese. A uh, handkerchief? A spoon and a, a mug. Oh, and this, coaster. For a chance to win the cup, like this video and comment with the hashtag Konnichiwa and you will win. All right, bye-bye. Haley, come here. Your favorite magazine. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Ew. What's in it? Huh. Hello, it's...